All right, so this is the uh, the charro, the charro setup, which is the horse rider. It's actually pronounced charro. Charro. Is Char- it? Yeah. But do you really have to lower your voice like that and say <laughs> charro? I guess you don't have to go charro. <laughs> <laughs> So a, uh, this is a setup for Jose Corvo that shows a little bit of the history of the town te- tequila. Don Sixto is the guy that allegedly protected the town from a raid, and this was a uh, setup to reenact his uh, historic horse ride. But what actually <laughs> happened was the guy who showed up to play Don Sixto uh, showed up to set at 5 a.m. extremely hungover. I think he was still up from the night before partying. and that he guy. Was late. Yeah, he was late, and that guy couldn't get anything done, more or less, and not even rear a horse in in the air. I I think he was afraid of throwing up. So I was pretty frustrated because our whole crew had gotten up at, what, 3 a.m. to start setting up for the sunrise at 5 a.m., and basically our hero for the day comes, and he just looked extremely hungover. He didn't take directions very well. I think the horse thought that he stunk, so he like didn't. The horse didn't want to listen to him do anything. That whole that whole morning was a disaster. So we actually had to uh, come back the next day and reshoot with an awesome horse guy who was, you know, had full control over the animal. Really, really sweet guy. And uh, the second attempt, we got some good stuff. Yeah. My ideal shot for this is to get the horse rearing up above looking monstrous and heroic. Uh, But in order to get that, we had to be really close to the animal. So me and Jesse are tethered to each other, like I'm tethered to his laptop. And (laughs) we are running up to the horse when it's rearing, taking the shot, and then running away and repeating this all day long. (laughs) We look like a bunch of idiots. And I'm, I'm trying to... I'm get trying to get it. Just, yeah. Ooh. I mean, when you see it on TV, it looks so majestic and beautiful. Go ahead and do that yourself. I dare you and see how majestic and beautiful that shit turns out to be in, in real life. Yeah, so we're squatting down, trying to get under the animal as it rears up. Well, remember, when they come up, they have to land a little bit ahead. So, <laughs> so which is the best <laughs> spot which to, is the take best a photo. to take a photo. <laughs> so just something to remember if you're doing that again. Just know that you gotta go in, you gotta get out. Oh yeah, I have no shame in admitting I was I was terrified of that because if you look at that photo, like it was taken with a wide angle lens that close, we have to be extremely close to the animal to get that perspective and that dynamic angle. But after a while of attempts, we got the perfect shot. And I actually, I looking at that, I have no idea how that chaos resulted in that shot but in the end well, we did get one good frame where we looked at it and we're like okay guys i think we can stop this uh dangerous dangerous activity i think we got it <laughs> yeah it was pretty funny uh going through the shots because me and jesse would be sitting at the laptop and go okay that that one works kind of that one's okay and then all of a sudden I'd like smell horse and feel horse breath on my neck and the charo rider would be just behind us standing on his horse looking over our shoulders at the laptop. Next time you see a horse on TV or in a movie or in a picture, these beautiful, majestic creatures, just know that they are absolutely terrifying beasts that can knock your head off.